I would love to hear this story. What was your journey up to 2020? What was that thing oh. that, that happened in 2020 for you that made you go, oh, maybe I need something different? And then what led you ultimately to doing this? Oh, it's a, uh, you know, uh, interesting journey that if you had asked me this, uh, even back three years ago, I would have said absolutely not. Because I grew up a corporate rat, right? Uh, my father was CFO of Revco Drug Stores, CEO of Hills Department Stores, which at the time they were both multi-billion dollar companies. And I was always raised under a large corporate C-suite roof. And being the oldest, I aspired to be exactly like my father. And so I went, I went to university, I was in the workforce for a bit, I went back, got my uh, uh, MBA, started to do the Atlanta rotation through Home Depot and Georgia Pacific and Cox with their uh, Mannheim division. And I was just- I, 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 love, I love that, the Atlanta rotation. <laughs> That's right. You, you really uh, did. You, you just it, missed it, Delta it, and Coke. I mean, you, 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 it, <laughs> it, it, it really was, right? Uh, and I was uh, going uh, quite happily just up the ladder, right, uh, at my own pace, right? And, you know, I was making a very nice life for myself and my family, right? But, you know, right around 2017, things started to change because at that point, uh, Cox Automotive, which is the parent company of Mannheim, had to do some soul searching as they were integrating their dealer track acquisition, right? And on the flip side, myself being a father of young kids, they were seven and three at the time, right? I had more of a desire to be with them than to sacrifice those hours in the workplace, right? And so when uh, ultimately the reduction force where I was impacted, right, my first thought at this point was fantastic. This was the break I needed. This is a good point for me to have that pause, to get reset, to figure out, you know, how do I balance being a terrific professional, but also a wonderful husband and father at the same time, because I was working 70, 75 hour uh, weeks easily, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's about three years ago, right? And I thought that I had enough knowledge and enough skill in order to navigate that next phase of my life. Long story short, I didn't. And because I didn't, it caused a number of different conditions with me that ultimately led me to go to the hospital at the very end of 2017 with a hypertension attack, right? And in the coming months, what I learned about myself was that I was so geared up in terms of gotta be successful, gotta be successful, gotta be successful, right? Yeah. That I was causing myself physical and mental anguish. And that was not the path that was going to lead me to where I wanted to go. Yeah. So I got a wonderful team around me. You've had Amy Baylog on your show before, right? She's yeah. a part of the team that's helped me, right? She's and great. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I started to really take that journey, that introspective journey in terms of who did I want to be?